Rock Yarn, this is Brother Taza Pop back for the quick jab for Satan's chin in the spirit and grace of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in whom all praise and glory is due. So giving double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you, brethren, doing the work of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in true faith and sincerity. I just want to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, and it reads, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, through Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to the pulling down of strongholds so in this lesson i'm gonna just take a look at strongholds because we all you know have these areas in our life in which satan comes in and sets up shop you know and that's what a stronghold is it's just a, a a weakness that satan perceives in us and he comes in and uses that weakness to throw us off course and get us off focus you know out of focus and off balance in our life to you know Next thing you know, you look up and then you way off course. So just going to look at this, going to the blue letter. And uh, in the blue letter, here it is. Uh, Strong's G, 3794, Ahurama. Ahurama. So that's the Greek word. And the first definition reads a castle, stronghold, fortress, fastness. And so... These are all significant words. Castles and strongholds, man, you know, a uh, fortress is like a strong defense city. And fastness means being steadfast, unmovable. But, you know, through the power and the grace of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai in this word, see the Heavenly Father didn't, he didn't leave us in this fight without any weapons. He equipped us with these holy scriptures to pull down these strongholds within our lives so that we could be more profitable servants, you know, and stewards of this word. So the second definition reads, anything on which one relies. And so that's heavy because that can go into our comfort zones. So we see in here, you know, that strongholds can be negative behavioral or emotional patterns, ideologies, creeds or beliefs, and even going to doctrines. All these can be strongholds in your life where Satan comes in, he sets up shop, and then next thing you know, like I said, you look up and your life is all off course. It's just like, you know, a sailor that's navigating the seas. You know, they use a compass. These compasses are at 360 degrees. So let's say you want to sail east, you're going to set your course for 90 degrees. So if you just off one degree and you're going 91 degrees, depending how far you go, you can end up missing your destination by miles, just by one degree. And see, that's how Satan works, you know. You can see his MO through the so-called white man and how he operates. They do things by small increments so that you don't catch on to what they're doing. That's how these strongholds work. Satan comes into your life, you know, it could, the stronghold can be in the form of the box, the bottle, or like I said, negative behavior or emotional patterns, uh, uh, Jake that's always angry, bullheaded, and whatnot, and then the next thing you know, you're looking up, you in the world of shit, scratching your head, trying to figure out, uh, how did I get to this point, you know, because you didn't see what was going on, because that's how Satan works. Now, when you look at definition 2A, it says, of the arguments and reasonings by which a disputant endeavors to fortify his opinion and defend it against his opponent. And so we see that all the time with these other Israelite groups, even within GMS, you know, look at the guys that fell out and they wanted to defend their point to the point of them casting off their faith because of the stronghold that Satan set up within their mind that they, you know, would rather be out this truth than to tear down that that negative whatever that was stronghold that had a hold to them which satan got in and little by little and then they always say that you know everybody else are the ones that's going off and they never look at themselves because see that that stronghold got them satan satan crept in there and got them and see that's what the thing you why the scripture said we have to always examine ourselves and it ain't easy to examine yourself, man. That's why the Heavenly Father set up brethren to, to keep you in check. 
And then a lot of times your brethren come to you, you want to look at them as being wicked. And they trying to pull your coattail to something that they seeing in you that ain't right. That Satan, you know, he came in there little by little. Then next thing you know, you, you on the outside mocking and scoffing like the rest of these cats doing. But anyway, yeah, the, and the, them strongholds come in, like I say, man, through our, through our flesh. Certain, certain comfort zones that we built up, which are weaknesses within our character, Satan sees that and he comes in there, man. You know, he comes in there and wreaks havoc. It ain't gonna be all at once. You know, Satan is slick. He's smart, he's been doing this for